Virgo, what's happening family? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Wherever that resonates at for you in your chart, keep in mind y'all, we all have a sixth house. We all have Virgo energy in our chart somewhere. So pull up your birth chart, see where that is. There will be a message in this reading for you in regards to that aspect of your life keep in mind y'all time and energy are fluid time doesn't exist um so take what resonates leave the rest and these readings are timeless so whenever you come across this reading there will be a message in it for you to help you align to help bring you clarity to help empower you <clears throat> with that being said virgo this is big tapping into y'all energy um I, a little bit of anxiety coming through or sort of a little bit of a restless energy coming through when I tapped into your energy Virgo um, and I definitely feel like there's a major cycle ending here okay you may be getting signs and symbols synchronicities um, stuff coming through in your dreams um, spirit saying to make sure you are getting plenty of rest make sure you are taking care of yourself right now make sure you're sleeping enough virgo okay take a walk out in nature right this will help ground some of that restless energy down um maybe some of my virgos uh being guided to work with some herbs whether it be elderberry cannabis you know anything this is um herbal allies here and this is or maybe some of my virgos even being guided to leave the herb alone for a time or whatever um but regardless of that taking a walk in nature virgo really gonna help your energetic body as of right now we also got this birth card which capricorn got as well and the last virgo capricorn readings were very similar as well so maybe some of you have a lot of capricorn in your chart or you have a capricorn close to you these energies have been very similar big endings happening here on the bottom of the tarot deck we have the world card and the first card to come out um during your meditation and, and in your sort of pre-game right <laughs> was this fall card and so definitely reaching the end of a season in your life here this is about shedding all those leaves this is about sort of going within and getting ready to move into this next chapter i see my virgos pushing through um i see you guys really making it through a lot so maybe some things blowing up or coming to a head reaching reaching their end um in sort of an intense way and this might be where some of that uh, intense energy was coming from but with that being said oh wow seeds entropy wow you guys this is very similar to the capricorn reading and we've got this scarecrow card as well so something ending and i see you're feeling a little bit down about it i see you're feeling a little bit sad um a little sorrow um, a little bit of hurt uh, in your current energy and it's almost like because you're leaving so much behind here Virgo you're leaving it all behind and you're sort of wiping the slate clean so you can move toward your six of wands toward your victory so with that being said let's jump into this tarot see what we have for my Virgos mother father divine Holy Spirit of the Most High God angels ancestors and spirit guides <clears throat> messages for my virgo family for their highest good any messages they need to hear right now messages to bring them clarity to help them align any messages to empower them will be greatly appreciated all praise and glory to the most high forever and ever look into the recent past i'm gonna grab these cards and we'll dive into it y'all we have in the recent past for my virgos Oh my lord, okay. We have currently four member goals. Very scattered energy <clears throat> coming through. Very intense energy coming through. Okay, what do we have incoming for my Virgos? Sheesh, y'all. Can I get one more? 
So it may feel like your Ten of Cups is a little bit out of reach, uh, Virgo, but Spirit really wanting you to know that this is big for you and that it is within your reach and you are going to get that, okay? In your recent past, <clears throat> Five and Seven of Swords, Divine Wisdom. So Virgo, this is about... <laughs> some betrayal or somebody doing you dirty some lying cheating stealing going on uh i'm even hearing some narcissism dealing with some narcissistic people or relationships in some way and this is what came out with it is this divine wisdom card and so virgo you are tapping very deeply into yourself into your intuition into this reserve of wisdom that you have within and you're starting to see things for what they really are and you're really starting to feel things and and it's really i see it's really got you down right now somebody did you dirty like how how could they do me like that or why would this happen or or why are people like this and you're really awakening and i'm literally hearing i don't belong here you're like i don't belong here you're like awakening to the fact that you deserve so much better virgo the theme of the reading being the fool and the judgment card big energy both major arcana here and we've got the first card of the tarot so you're really getting you're really tapping deeply into source into your god level abilities your psychic abilities your healing abilities this this deep level of wisdom that you hold within and you're awakening to your higher self here some of my virgos even going through something like a spiritual awakening and you're really starting to follow the guidance of your ancestors your angels your spirit guides and um you're being led into this brand new chapter into this new journey into this new adventure and you're sort of like coming from the viewpoint of being in your higher self so this is a big spiritual level up for my virgos here and that brings us to your current energy we definitely have the justice card so karma coming through right we've got that sort of justice coming through to cut these cords um with these situations and people from the past for some of you, this could have been in a relationship with an air sign or a water sign. Um, and I see, again, it's got you really down right now as the universe sort of brings you this new opportunity. But I see my Virgos are sort of like not taking the opportunity yet because you're still in this in this sort of scattered, funky energy, this really down or sad energy. And what I see virgo is you really aligning to your path of destiny here and spirit really wanting you to realize that and to uh take this as an opportunity to move into what it is you deserve to move into this energy where you're creating your stability your abundance where you are moving into your love and what you deserve where people are treating you the way that you treat others virgo where people are pouring back into you and so i see you gaining this clarity and really taking that sword of intellect your chop people are at the chopping block right and you're cutting the cords you're figuring it out you're gaining clarity and you are making the decision to move forward and with that being said that brings us into your incoming energy and i see my virgos still pushing through here bringing me to that ram card you're literally <laughs> gangsta here virgo you're pushing your way through my virgos have never given up and you are moving away from these karmic situations these devil energies and for some of my virgos a lot of this is within as well so you're moving away from addictions you're moving away from thought patterns that don't serve you emotional patterns that don't serve you whatever this is i feel like it is within and without virgo and you're really making the moves and striving to look at this full moon to really end things out because they've reached their peak again with this ram card and that volcano going off in the background it's like you're pushing through because things are done and over with they've reached their peak you can't take it anymore and it's time to cut those chains right cut those strings that bind us in whatever way it resonates and really push through here boom to your ten of cups so as i said before you may feel like this happiness this dream life is sort of out of reach right now, Virgo. But I'm telling you right now that the universe is like, nah, my babies, we got you. 
right? And if you notice that white wolf, this represents your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors leading you into this brand new adventure. And this is you awakening and releasing all of the things that are no longer serving you. So I see you in a very pivotal point in your journey. Um, and I see you really rooting down into your truth, Virgo, and taking those steps that you're being guided to take. I'm going to grab you some advice. Advice for my Virgos. Thank you. Just clarity, you guys. Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups. So my Virgo is probably seeing 11-11-1-1-1. Seeing signs and synchronicities everywhere. Letting you know that this is a beautiful new opportunity at hand. Look, we got all th we got three of the four aces. So 1-1-1 one, one, one over here. And this is a brand new opportunity. And the advice being the tower, being the hierophant, and then being these two aces this is you leveling up and committing to this path to this journey really cutting these things off and taking this following your intuition following this higher guidance into this new chapter and away from this structure i see divine intervention coming through and really knocking this structure down that was keeping you trapped that was making you feel stuck claustrophobic making you feel like you couldn't get out right and this is it this is it right here my virgos a brand new chapter a brand new beginning this is a clean slate here zero the first card of the tarot this is a clean slate and here is your clarity virgo again there's a message coming through that i see you going through this pain i see you <laughs> really really going through it right now and this is about healing what what has happened taking care of yourself starting a meditation practice making sure you're getting plenty of rest and grounding all of these intuitive downloads right we'll call them downloads light codes um intuitive guidance you're grounding it down so again a meditation practice sleeping making sure you're getting enough sleep right and then after you wake up from sleep, taking a notepad and writing anything down that comes for, to you. Spend five, ten minutes there and write down anything. See if you can remember your dreams. Um, write anything down that comes to you. Even if you can't remember your dreams, you're still sort of in that alpha state when you wake up, you guys. And there is definitely messages coming through for you. And you are taking those rose-colored glasses off virgo and you're moving away from these karmic situations some of these situations you've been dealing with for lifetimes whether it's relationships addictions thought patterns certain um habits right that are holding you back and i really see you seeing things for what they are virgo and deciding to move forward i see this has really got you stressed out but spirit is saying to chop the cords with the past to do this work virgo and to shift your focus to the future and what it is we're going to create what is this new chapter what is this new journey where do i want to go from here what makes me happy and i see you putting that together up here in your mental space king of cups page of swords and moving toward that turning this water into wine turning this lead into gold and working through these deeper shadow aspects virgo um wow 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 very deep reading here we're gonna jump into these oracle cards now spirit what do we have for my virgos what do my virgos need to hear spirit <laughs> intervention and purpose again divine intervention coming through here divine intervention is occurring know that you are being guided again this is just like the fool here it says happiness is your purpose and if you see the woman in the car not a care in the world she's getting it she's doing a little jig right now she's trusting that her spirit guide is clearing the way for her and leading her into this beautiful new chapter a call to action uh archangel michael coming through very heavily in your reading as well i will not be surprised if that card comes through awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love forgive yourself 
Virgo, forgive those that have done you wrong. Know that is it is all a part of the divine plan. You are growing. You are leveling up. You are awakening. Humanity and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. And see the light in the world, you guys. And I've seen this call to action card twice uh, on the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to actually read this card. <clears throat> you are receiving a call to action and being asked to step up and create the changes that you want to see in the world divine inspiration is all around you and ashtar and his legion of cosmic angels are standing by to offer you loving support know that you are being encouraged to be honest assertive and true in a loving way you may feel your ego trying to hold you back but know that when you take the first step the next one will follow soon take some time to connect with the universe by looking up at the stars knowing that there are loving beings of light gazing back down on you you are not alone if anybody wants to dive a little deeper book a personal reading with me holler at me my information is always down below in the description box you can shoot me a message on social media you can shoot me an email and i will get back to you as soon as i can divine mother what do we have for my virgos what do my virgos need to hear y'all here comes the sun relief shall come swiftly Soon you will see things differently. You're going to be liberated from the struggle you're currently experiencing. Be true to yourself and your life path and you will attract the way forward. You will overcome opposition, be released into improved circumstances, and be supported to bring your sacred path to fruition. Although you may be in circumstances that you would prefer not to be in at this time, you're actually in a position of unrealized spiritual power. You will gain benefit from what is transpiring when the relevant learning and personal growth have been acknowledged and integrated. These circumstances will give way to a more favorable situation. A lot came through here. You are forging your authentic path in support of that, you shall attract great blessings that will benefit all beings. To live a spiritually and creatively self-directed life takes incredible strength and trust in yourself. Remember that the promise of your sacred success is being fulfilled through every challenge and every blessing. Trust in what you were born to accomplish. You got one more from this deck. When momentum is building and you don't know how to stop fueling the fire or reverse the damage, Kali brings grace and freedom from negative patterning and stubborn mindsets, resistant to change. Now is a powerful time for spiritual work and healing practices. She will support the work and much growth can come from it. The storm shall be gentled and you shall emerge unharmed. I am going to grab one last card out of this Moonology deck. I appreciate you all stopping by, showing love. I appreciate all the love and support, you guys. The donations, the likes, the shares, the subs truly touches my heart. And I'm very, very grateful for y'all. And I'm truly honored to be here, to be in service of y'all, to be able to, to deliver these messages and spread this wisdom and shine this light. So with that being said, thank you so much. The energy is gaining momentum. That's right. Just like surrender to the divine full moon. So something's definitely reached its peak here, Virgo. And wow, Capricorn got this south node card as well. Don't let your past hold you back. Adjustments are required. I'm going to read this. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. <clears throat> Thank you, spirit. 
Think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there's also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that not all is lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get to where you want to be. A change of course is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may also be a crisis now which will remind you what you want and what it's time to let go of, so pay attention. Um, Attune to the moon, the affirmation for this card is I am re-evaluating the situation. Additional meanings for this card, your life may be out of balance and this may be causing you issues. It may be a time to hatch a whole new plan. Something new and exciting is around the corner and trust may be required to move this situation forward. My beautiful Virgos, this is big, this is deep. That is what I have for you. I hope this message helped. I hope it resonated. Um, and I hope to see you beautiful souls on the next reading. Let's take a deep cleansing breath and clear this space. Hold it. And release. <sighs>